Hi, this is Joe Quattracci, and you know, television is a funny thing because a lot of times as we invite people into our homes, uh, they become friends. And uh, I will say that my guest, who I'm very delighted to be chatting with today, Monica Morales, I consider her a friend. Oh, Joe, I consider you a friend too. Now, we met, believe it or not, it was uh, Christmas morning, 2008. I got a phone call, and as I tell my family and friends, you are one of the few people who I will sacrifice my Christmas morning to come out and meet. And you did a wonderful story about good counsel. At that time, you were working for Channel 4 in yes, New York. Yes, yes. And uh, subsequent to that, you've done wonderful work for Thank Pix you. 11, Thank WPIX you. in, in uh, New York City as well. And you have done such awesome work that we're here at, at the... Um, Ball for Life, it's an annual event by Good Counsel, and you were honored tonight. I am so honored to be here, and I'm a big fan of Good Counsel and all the work that you guys do. I really, I can't say enough. Um, I fell in love with you guys at the first story, and then obviously we've been doing a lot of stories, and I hope we do a lot of stories in the future. I really do, because I believe in the work you guys do. Yeah. I'm a mom. I have to believe in the work that you guys do. And it's a wonderful thing, the Ball for Life, uh, we've traditionally put it on Mother's Day weekend. It's perfect. So it's a great time. Now, I've been doing some research on you because I consider you a friend. You're in my living room all the time. You don't know that you're in my living room, but yeah, um, that's yeah. the way television is. You know, it, it's such a great medium that you really connect with the people. She's been sleeping here every night, a park bench, for the past three weeks now. After and the work that you do, Monica making it happen, you know, on, on PIX11, uh, you connect with so many people, so many communities. Can you talk about, you know, what went on inside your heart? What, what inspired you to not just do one story on Good Counsel, but you've done a whole series. How has Good Counsel touched you? You know, I have to say, it really is about Chris Bell um, be, saying yes. When I called him and I needed help for a woman named Jessica so many years ago. Whenever a woman calls, if she's pregnant and needs a place to stay, we just say yes. And I wasn't doing advocacy journalism is what we call it, helping people. I was doing general assignment reporting, you know, fires, homicides, you know, general assignment. Um, so it was my first real taste of, you know, I can actually help people with television. I can actually help people with what Think we do. Think about that. Wow, what a concept. Right? Yeah, but Chris <laughs> Bell does it all the time, and Good Counsel does it all the time. But it was my first real taste. And he was the first, I mean, I hate to say it, I Googled helping homeless, pregnant women, NYC. And the first thing that came up was Good Counsel. Um, I did call a lot of other people, including city agencies, um, just, I called a lot of other people, and I just remember Chris Bell was the second person I reached at Good Counsel. It was a social worker first, then him, and he immediately said, yes, I can help.